We all heard this one in science class. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. In the case of conventional friction brakes, energy of motion, kinetic energy, is being transformed into heat energy via friction and then dissipated into the air. A hybrid vehicle recharges its high voltage battery through the use of regenerative braking. With regenerative braking, instead of just wasting that energy by releasing it into the air, the vehicle takes it and places it in a box in the back of a car to save it as stored energy. Later, that stored energy will be converted back into kinetic energy using the electric motor. The brake pedal and ABS module pressure sensors tell the modules of the hybrid system that a request for braking has been made and how much braking is desired. The driver's pedal efforts are calculated by the modules in order to produce the correct pedal feel and stopping power. The modules that control the hybrid system then apply regenerative braking via the traction motor inside the transmission as needed. More regenerative braking increases the amount of electrical charge generated for the hybrid battery at the same time that it produces more drag to slow down the vehicle. Of course, at a stop or near stop, the friction is applied to stop the vehicle from rolling. Some hybrid systems apply to hydraulic brakes at lower speeds. So what are the parts opportunities for hybrids and EVs with regenerative braking systems? Here's a short answer. Brake pads, calipers, and fluid. Since regenerative braking uses the hydraulic brake sparingly, it is common to come across a hybrid or EV with 70,000 or 100,000 miles with the original set of front brake pads. But this doesn't mean that other components like hardware and rubber seals and boots can't fail sooner. Corrosion can be a big problem. The majority of the time, the pads haven't reached conventional operating temperatures and corrosion can occur between the backing plate and friction material because the pads never dried out. On some vehicles, the corrosion between the friction material and backing plate would cause a complete separation. Always recommend a high quality brake pad for these applications to avoid these problems. It's not a question of better performance, but more a question of quality and engineering for corrosion resistance. A vehicle with regenerative braking will have a more complex ABS hydraulic control unit to control the brakes. This means that there are more valves and passages that brake fluid comes into contact with. If the brake fluid's additive package that prevents corrosion and controls the pH has been depleted, it can damage the expensive ABS HCU. This is why flushing the brake fluid is critical. Thanks for watching.